Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Today we're going to have a look at the alias command. So the purpose of the alias command is to shorten commands that you use on a regular basis. So things that I use on a regular basis are show IPOSPF neighbor, show IPOSPF route, um, show interface brief. Um, I copy my running config to a TFTP server on a regular basis. Um, so lots of things that are multiple words uh, or switches can be simplified into, into a single uh, command, into a couple of letters or a single word. So let's have a look at how we do that. So the first thing is to see what aliases are installed in the box right now, we just type alias, right? So it says there's no aliases in the list. Okay, fine. So we go into config T and the command is alias and then what you want to shorten it to. So the first one I'm going to create is a show interface brief. So you can make whatever letters you want as long as it's not an existing command in the box. So I will do SIB equals show interface brief. Okay. So now um, this is a command that I type many times a day. And so instead of having to type the whole thing out, I could just type SIB and there it is. There's my show interface brief, right? Uh, and if I type alias here, it shows me what what that is. So my alias SIB equals show interface brief. So uh, we can create another one. Let's see. Well, alias um, SON equals show IP OSPF neighbor. Oop. Um, right. So then I just type SON. There's my show IP OSPF neighbor, right? So you also uh, have to be really careful of your spelling here. If you misspell something, it will take the command um, in the alias, so you will have an alias with that mistype command, but when you try to run the alias, obviously it's not going to run. So be careful of your spelling, right? Um, and then, so so something that we all do many times, hopefully, um, you know, you do write memory all the time, but copying that running config or that startup config to a TFTP server, you know, it's multiple commands to make that happen. So we can create an alias for that. So we can say alias, um, let's call it, let's call it backup, okay, equals copy run TFTP, the IP address to your TFTP server, um, and then the name of the file. So we'll call it config.cfg, okay? So we now, if I run alias here, we now have our three aliases, backup equals copy run TFTP, uh, the IP address and the file name. So at that point now, all I have to do whenever I want to, you know, store that configuration on the TFTP server, I could just run backup. Oh, I can't, sorry, can't do it from config mode. I can run backup from here and there it is. So it copies. Now I don't have, I don't really have a TFTP server at that address. So in a minute here, it's going to error out and tell me that there's um, no TFTP server found. Um, but you get the idea. So anyway, so there's your aliases. If you want to back them out, um, we go back into config T and you just do a no alias, um, I don't know, SON, right? No alias uh, SIB. Uh, and then if I run alias again, those aliases are gone, right? So as long as I do a write memory, those aliases will stay there and uh, you can have multiple aliases in the box. So hopefully that makes your life easier and uh, you find that useful. So thanks for joining and take care.